Okay. Good afternoon, Pep. If I could ask you about injuries to start off with, um, the players you might be able to pick tomorrow, David Silva, Gabriel Jesus, uh, Sergio Aguero, can you update us on whether you might have them in your squad or even your team against Manchester United? Uh, David Silva, real, real doubt. I don't know if we'll be ready to play after what happened in the first minutes in the final. Semi-final, sorry, in uh, FA Cup. Gabriel is... Uh, Gabriel is, uh, is no pain at all, so he's ready, but three months uh, out, so physical condition is his physical condition, not optimal. And uh, Sergio is much better. He's much better. And is part of your squad then, Sergio? Uh, he's much better. Today, make a part, short part of the training session. Tomorrow, we will be ready. How big a game? is tomorrow night against Manchester United for both clubs, but principally for Manchester City. Yeah, good. Good rival, uh, good quality, good form. Uh, big series without defeat in the Premier League, so a lot of quality, history. Looking forward to play that game. Hello, Pep. Uh, you played against a big team at the Etihad. You only got five points out of these uh, games, so... Why couldn't you finish the big teams, you think, at the Etihad this season? Well, we should analyze game by game what happened. Uh, the results, we can, so the result, the result is a fact, but the way we play every game, we should talk about them. So, but of course, we have six, six games left, four games of them in Etihad Stadium, so our qualification for the Champions League it will depend on our games at home. And tomorrow is the first one. Of course, I want to ask also, psychologically, how important is the win to each side tomorrow? Whoever wins, would that give them an edge for the race to the top four? No, psychological is not. So sometimes win, sometimes lose against good teams. It's the fact that it's, it's important three points to qualify for the Champions next season. That is the most important thing. Hi, Pep. Obviously, a very disappointing result on the, the weekend. How's the mood in the camp been this week? Is, uh, do you sense that people want to put it right with this big game on Thursday? In the stadium? Yeah, how, amongst the players, is it, they were obviously disappointed with, with, the, with the result. How's the mood been this week? Today better than yesterday, and tomorrow will be better than today. Well, you, you get a sense they want to put it right immediately, what happened on the weekend? It's over. It's past. We played to win, we were better, we didn't win. Congratulations to Arsenal. Hello, Pep. Um, you said in the past that you thought Aguero and Jesus could play together in the same team. Do, has the way that Sergio has changed his game made you even more convinced that they can play together? Yeah, they can play together. All the teams, it depends on the way you want to play. You can play together. You can play with two strikers that you can play. If you want to play without wingers and wingers wide, after that it's more complicated. When you want to play wingers a little bit more narrow, they can play together. So all of the players we have in the squad, they can play with each other. I could just ask about Raheem Sterling as well. He's, he's been on the bench for three of the last four games, which hasn't happened to him this season. Um, could you tell us why that is and, and what Raheem has to do to, to get back into the team? I decided to put one midfield player uh, on the pitch, then more strikers. We play so offensive all the season with two attacking midfielders like, like Kevin and Silva, with two strikers like uh, like Sergio, like Raj and like Leroy. Well, they are young. In the last games I decided to put one less more and one midfield more and that's why I decided to, to take out in that two or three games. With Raj, but it's not lack of confidence or something like that. It's just I have to decide that. I decide that. Um, when you arrived, Pep, um, and Jose arrived in Manchester at the same time, um, you, you were asked well, what would happen if you ever bumped into each other during the course of the year. Has that happened at all? Uh, apart from the two games when you played United, have you? Seen if I enjoy my part here. No, have you have you bumped into Jose Mourinho at any point uh, apart from the two games you played? Ah uh, no, 
We are neighbors, but no, we don't find it. Now, how is your relationship uh, these days? Good. When we see each other, hi, hi. So what uh, Man United has been playing without Ibrahimovic recently in a style more, di more direct, what kind of game do you expect tomorrow? Well, uh, of course, they have been playing uh, the last games without him, but uh, they achieved to play the, the way Jose Mourinho wants. Uh, they win a lot of uh, duels between the, the players. It's going to be a really difficult game. Um, the, we will try to bring the game where we want. And, of course, Ibra is an excellent player, but they also have uh, great forwards like Lingard, Young, or Rashford that uh, they find the, the spaces behind the defense, and they are good players as well. Um, Jose Mourinho has said uh, City is the favourite to finish in the, in the top four. Uh, what do you think about that? And second question, is it strange for you to play against a team managed by Jose Mourinho without a trophy in play? Well, I think the, the team that fails the less in, in this last stage, uh, they will go to the next Champions League with Tottenham and Chelsea. Well, I've been uh, managing for nine years and this is the, my first year without a trophy. Uh, Sometimes it has to happen and it happened this year. And if I extend my, my career long, I'm sure it will happen in the future. But there's also a lot of teams in Europe that they are not going to win any trophy, any trophy this season as well.